a biology, Mr. Wagner here. Today we're going to be walking through making a dichotomous key. So last week we talked about reading dichotomous keys. Now we're going to have to find out what we need to do to make one. All right, this is a confusing topic, so uh, follow along with me. And we're going to do a sample here before you have a worksheet uh, after this one. So let's see what it says. Number one, when you read a dichotomous key, you start with one item and you follow the questions to get an answer. That's good. In number two, it says when you make a dichotomous key, you start with a group and you break the group apart with each question into smaller and smaller groups until you're left with just one item. Make sure questions are clear, yes, no, or has, doesn't have, no ambiguity. You can't say uh, the thing is tall or the thing is short because uh, those are all things that people can get confused on. Or he has brownish hair. Somebody else might argue, no, no, I think it's blackish. No, I think it's more blonde. So make sure it's really clear that nobody is going to get the wrong answer on any of those. Clearly, yes or no questions. Number four, when you're working through the numbers, leave unanswered lines blank. I'll tell you what I mean. You're eventually going to get to a thing and you come up with your has or doesn't have and you're going to answer one of them. Just leave the other one blank. We'll come back up to it later and eventually fill it in. When you have your first item named, I need you to work back up through the numbers to the very first open spot. So that's key. So number five says, once I got my first thing named, I go back up slowly by slowly until I find the very next open slot, and then I go there. Okay? That's how you do it. You work back up slowly. Number six, you will always have one less number of go-to questions than the total number of items on the list. In other words, if I have six items on the list, I'm going to have five question lines. I think we mentioned that last time when we were reading dichotomous keys. If you have 20 items in a list, you're going to have 19 go-to lines or question lines. Number seven, when you're all finished, test out each item by following the dichotomous key to make sure it's correct. Make sure to do this for every item on the list. All it takes is one thing to be wrong and the whole key doesn't work. Okay? We're going to work through a sample here. Let's see what we're talking about. Santa's elves love sweets, but unfortunately they cannot read the labels. So they've made up their own nicknames. Let's make a dichotomous key to help others identify the elvish nicknames for these popular treats. And I'm going to spell dichotomous correctly. There it is. All right, let's see what we got on our next page. Here we go. Looks like we have these six candies. Reindeer droppings, juicy gems, pucker punches, nut butter huggers, Santa's caramel cookie sticks. It's just not plugged in. It's not plugged in. <clears throat> okay, sorry, it wasn't plugged in. We're all good now. So we got reindeer droppings, juicy gems, pucker punches, nut butter huggers, Santa's caramel cookie sticks, Willie's wafer wonders. We're going to name these six. We're going to create a dichotomous key since they're already named. We just have to be able to identify them. First thing is we're going to put a really quick, clear question that's going to divide these up into two groups. I got a really clear question. It's going to be this. Uh, the, does the candy have chocolate? Candy has chocolate, candy does not have chocolate. Nobody's going to get confused on which candies have chocolate or don't have chocolate. So let's do that now. So I'm going to do it here. Mr. Wagner filled these in to save some time. Candy has chocolate. Candy, then it's going to be the opposite. Does not have chocolate. Okay, so those are my questions. Fill in my dots. So let's deal with, we could do either one of these. We could do either one of these. Has chocolate or doesn't have chocolate. Let's deal with the chocolate ones first. So I'm picking the chocolate ones. So now I say go to two. What do I do for the next B there? I leave it blank. Remember, that's when I said just leave it blank. We'll actually come back and finish it later. So now all I'm looking at are the chocolate ones, these three right here. Okay? Because I've picked chocolate. Now i got to pick up just these three. And let's do this. Candy has peanut butter. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Candy has peanut butter. Well, if it has peanut butter, do I know what it is? Oh, I gotta fill in the other one first. Candy does not have peanut butter. Notice I can come up with any question I want, but I came up with the does have or doesn't have peanut butter. Okay, so that's what we're working on. So let's pick the one that says does have peanut butter, has peanut butter. Well, I don't have to go anywhere. Out of these three candies, only one of them actually has peanut butter. And that one is going to be the 
Nut Butter Huggers. So I'm going to write down the name here. Nut Butter Huggers. There it is. Oh, I got to make myself a little bit more room so that all fits. All right, Nut Butter Huggers. Perfect. So now I've named the first one. That's the only one that has peanut butter. That's the one right there. So now what I do is the next one does not have. Now I can put my go to here. Go to number three. Why? Well, because I got to figure out what the, what the other two are. So uh, other next one's going to be here. So I'm looking at these two. I'm looking at Santa's Caramel Cookie Sticks and Willie's Wafer Wonders. I'm looking only at those two. Let's see what we have. Let's see. We got to divide those up into two different groups. So let's see. One of them has candy, has caramel. Only one of those has caramel, right? And the other option would be candy does not have caramel. Does not have caramel. Okay, so those are my two choices. Let's see what we got here. So it has caramel. If it has caramel, do I know what it is? If it has caramel, do I know what it is? Yes, I do. It is going to be Santa's caramel, because it's got caramel right in the name there, cookie sticks. Okay, let's make a little bit of room here so it fits. There it is. Now, if I don't have caramel, do I know what it is? Yes, actually, I know exactly what it is because there's only one left. Only one left, so this one has to be Willie's Wafer Wonders. All right, great job. So now, notice what we did. We labeled these right away, one, two, three. We figured out what they were. Now I'm going to work back up my steps to the next one that's open. And the next open one then I'm going to deal with, and I'm going to deal with the next one. So I work my way back up here. Looks like I have uh, all of them filled in except for, <clears throat> excuse me, candy does not have chocolate. That's the one I don't have filled in. So now I'm going to look at these three of them up above that do not have chocolate. So I'm only looking at the top of them. Let's scroll back up so you can see what they look like. I'm only looking at, looks like reindeer droppings, juicy gems, and my pucker punches. So I'm just looking at those three because I've already named the other three. So now I'm going to say it does not have chocolate go to... Well, it looks like the only one I have left open is go to four. So let's fill that in. I'm going to say go to four. Now at four. All right, here we are. Now you got to find out something about these candies that is pretty easy. Let's see. How about is individually wrapped? That's a pretty good one. Only one of those candies is individually wrapped. So I'm going to put candy is individually wrapped wrapped. Okay. Do I know what it is if it's individually wrapped? Yes, I do. It is going to be a juicy gems. Those are the only ones that are not uh, uh, not unwrapped. So juicy gems. Now if the candy is not individually wrapped. Do I know what it is now? I do not. I have two more options. I'm not sure which one of those two it could be. So I have to do a go to. Go Two. My next number is five. Go to five. Now I got to look at those two, and those two are going to be the reindeer droppings and the pucker punches. Reindeer droppings, pucker punches. So let's do, how about this one? Candy is in the shape of a kid. That's pretty easy. And then candy is not in the shape of a kid. And of course, I know exactly what we're talking about here. If it's in the shape of a kid, what is it? Well, it's going to be our Sour Patch Kids because they look like and are shaped like kids. But I can't put that name down. I have to put the other name down. I have to put Pucker Punches. There we go. And then down here, I fill in the last one. There's only one left to go. If it is not in the shape of a kid, it must be Reindeer droppings. Reindeer droppings. Make sure I spelled that right. Reindeer droppings. R, I think it's E-I-N. R-E-I-N. Reindeer droppings. There we go. Okay, so now I've, done that. I've got six items. How many questions did I work through? Five. So I must have done it correctly. Now I'm going to double check. And you double check by picking one of the things and following it through and see if it answers it correctly. Let's start by picking a ju juicy gems. Let's pick juicy gems. And question number one, candy has chocolate, candy does not have chocolate. It does not have chocolate, go to four. So I go down here to four. 
Candy is individually wrapped. Yes, it is. So it's a juicy gem. Okay, that one worked. Let's do another one. Let's do the pucker punches. Pucker punches. Candy has chocolate, does not have chocolate. Go to four. Candy is not individually wrapped. Go to five. It's in the shape of a kid. Yes, yes, it is. Well, that's my pucker punches. Let's do the peanut butter cup, the nut butter huggers. Uh, candy has chocolate. Yes, go to two. Candy has peanut butter. Yes, then it's a nut butter hugger. Yeah, that worked out perfectly. Look at that. Good, good, good. All right. And then finally, let's do one more. Willie's Wafer Wonders has chocolate. Yes, go to two. Uh, does not have peanut butter. Uh, does not have caramel. So it must be a Willie Wafer Wonder. Let's actually check them all. That's what I told you we needed to do. So two more to go. Let's do Santa's Caramel Cookie Sticks. Has chocolate. Yes, go to two. Has peanut butter. No, does not have peanut butter. Go to three. Has caramel. Yes, yes, it has caramel. So it's Santa's Caramel Cookie Sticks. And the last one we have to check, of course, is the reindeer droppings. Let's check. Candy does not have chocolate. Go to four. So I'm at four. Candy is not individually wrapped. Go to five. Candy is not in the shape of a kid. It's not. So it's reindeer droppings. Look at that. It works out just perfectly. All right. So you're going to have a sample to do by making your own dichotomous key of a few things. I think there's five or six on our worksheet for today. And that's our assignment for today. Take care and have a great day. If you have any questions, please get a hold of me and let me know.